here's something odd. On the one hand here, I've got a plastic skull, you know, the kind that you can buy on eBay, on Amazon, the ones that come on the skeleton. And on the other hand, I've got a real human skull donated many years ago from uh, uh, somebody that finished their anatomy study. So this is the weird or creepy bit, depending on your viewpoint. From a purely legal standpoint, I can do pretty much anything I want with the real skull. I can remodel it into a fancy light, an ashtray, you name it. Why? Because the prevailing law doesn't regulate every use of human skeletal remains. But here's the catch. If I were to use this real skull to teach anatomy, pointing out the zygomatic arch and the sutures and showing this bone, that bone, then I would be stepping into regulated territory. And that's because the Human Tissue Authority, the HTA, was created under the Human Tissue Act of 2004 to regulate specific uses of human bodies and relevant material um, for anatomical examination. So this means that if I were teaching anatomy or storing the skull for teaching without the required license, I could be committing a criminal offence under that act. Now, the buying and selling of skeletons or skulls outside the schedule purposes defined in the act is pretty unregulated. You walk legally into an antique shop and buy a skeleton. And as long as you're not using it for the regulated anatomical teaching, you can do whatever you want with it. And the HTA has no power to look into it. But to use human remains to teach anatomy requires your premises to hold an HTA license and teaching anatomy without one is a criminal offence. It's a weird loophole that isn't likely to be changed anytime soon and everybody knows about it. So, so for now, I think I'll have to keep my real skull for my other hobby. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest.